the shop and get it all cleaned up. My tools are unorganized still, but shop looks pretty good. Maybe I'll be able to do something again. Got some wood cut for old reliable here. And then I got this grill. I got this bumper to put together. Got a brand new bumper, lower valance, upper valance, and grill. Has to go on a friend of mine's truck, and I'll finally be done with that truck. I've had it here too long. And that truck is out here. <clears throat> Sick of looking at it. I'm feeling good. I had a neck injury not too long ago, so I've kind of been relaxing. I've been to the chiropractor a bunch. While well, it was a back, it was a back issue that was pinching all my nerves in my back, so I had to go to the chiropractor a bunch. It's been like a month process getting back to normal. So I'll be back to making YouTube videos. And then I want to start working on my dad's suburban right here. Need some brake work and a heater core. And then after after I'm done with the suburban, I would like to start working on my dad's hot rod here. This is gonna get a 30 over big block with oval port heads and uh, 400 trans and he's just gonna beat the hell out of it and raise hell but I gotta paint the frame on that and do the firewall a uh, bunch of stuff so that'll be a good video for YouTube All right, I just got all the adhesion promoter done. <clears throat> a friend of mine brought me some of this stuff over so I could use it. It's the One Choice plastic adhesion wipe. And then he brought this uh, can of One Choice adhesion promoter aerosol. So. I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna let this dry just a little bit more here. I got two more minutes to let it dry. And then I can spray my sealer on it. And then I'll paint it with Essential. Well, I skipped some stages in this video. I didn't video everything, but uh, I put these fenders and this hood on here. It's a Sierra GMC, and I changed it to a cat eye for a customer, a friend of mine. And I'm finally getting it done. And it turned out pretty good. It looks really aggressive, I think. Cat eye looks better. So this truck got wrecked. And it smashed the grill, the hood, and the fenders were buckled and the bumper was junk. And I had told him, I said, you can switch this to a cat eye pretty easily. And he said he wanted to do that. So here it is. Turned out pretty good. I got a lot of time in this thing, painting it and fitting parts and because it was wrecked, so it was kind of a bastard to fit some stuff up, but I got it looking pretty good. All the gaps are real nice, and grill fits nice. Headlights fit good, bumper fits good. So yeah, that's the end result. I'm on the downhill stretch on this thing. All I gotta do is get some fog lights put in, in them holes, and an emblem, and this thing can leave. And then, so my next video will be the white truck over here I'm gonna get this thing going it's my dad's truck we made it a short bed 
and lowered it a little bit and we're gonna restore this thing and so this is the next project so uh, stay tuned because in a couple weeks I'll be working on this well probably sooner than that actually um, I can start working on it now if I want to but uh like comment subscribe thanks for watching thanks to all the subscribers I appreciate you guys have a good day